Instagram TV or IGTV. Maybe you've heard about it, maybe you haven't. It was just announced by Instagram the other day. And is it trying to kill YouTube? And does it even have the capability to do that? That's kind of what we're gonna be talking about today. What's the deal with this thing? What are my thoughts on it, especially as someone who makes videos? And where do I think we're gonna go from here? So the first thing you may be wondering is obviously, well, Instagram already does support videos, so why is this even a thing? Well, the whole idea is that Instagram kind of wanted to shake things up and add more support for different kinds of videos, specifically longer form videos that can be up to 60 minutes long if you have like a big account and up to 10 minutes long for regular accounts. And the most interesting thing is that these are going to be mobile first, which means that they are focusing on vertical videos. Every video on IGTV will have to be vertical. Now you could theoretically crop it so you add big giant bars and put a horizontal video in there but it's not gonna look good and there is no horizontal viewing mode in it and the idea is well this is gonna be kind of like a new thing we already have YouTube and it doesn't they say it doesn't really work that great if you're usually holding your phone vertically they say it's a pain to have to turn your phone and this is a new format that we really haven't seen that much of and I guess they are kind of right people do tend to hold their phones vertically most of the time, and I guess the idea is they thought, well, what if we launch an entire platform where people didn't have to turn their phone? And what's also notable is they didn't just add this as a little feature in the main app, they actually created an entire new standalone app that you go in and that's the entire reason you would open that app. Although there is also still the ability to watch the same stuff in the normal app. So it's kind of like in both interfaces. So is this thing capable of beating YouTube or even are they trying to? And you may be surprised to hear that I actually think that if they do this right, they could get a big piece of YouTube's pie. Because here's the thing, Instagram announced they passed 1 billion monthly users and YouTube has about 1.8 billion. So they're not that far off if you think about it, in terms of viewership. They have the audience where they could, if they actually really hit a home run, they could probably get a good amount of people using their app just like YouTube does. And I do really think that it's good that they created a standalone app, because here's the thing, people go on Instagram, I have a feeling that if you're going on Instagram, you're not really trying to watch long form videos, you're just kind of scrolling through the feed, you're gonna have a low attention span, you're gonna be in low attention span mode, whereas if you go on YouTube, you're kind of expecting longer videos. So if they launch this new app specifically for longer videos, if you open that app, you're gonna kind of automatically be in a mindset of willing to watch longer videos. So I think that is a really good move that they made. And also it's kind of like, where does this whole Instagram TV fit in in the whole online video space? Like if you're gonna be searching for a specific type of video, you're gonna go on YouTube to search for it. And the only kind of use case I see for Instagram videos at the moment, it's kind of like vlogs, like just longer versions of stories you would post on there, especially because it is that whole new form factor and videos that you would put on YouTube have to be reworked to put on Instagram in the first place. So I don't really see that much stuff being exclusively produced for Instagram. And I really doubt that there's gonna be a lot of really highly produced stuff put on Instagram, because again, if you're gonna be spending a lot of time and money on a video, I just feel like YouTube is the more logical place to put it, especially because there's no monetization on Instagram videos yet. They might work towards that, but it's not at the moment. And while I don't really care about that, I never monetized my Instagram feed. I know there's a lot of people who maybe they do have a capability of moving videos from YouTube to Instagram, they're not gonna bother with it if they can't make money if they're already doing it on YouTube. Now, that being said, I did actually create a channel on Instagram, that's what they're called, and I uploaded a couple of videos that I think work well with the vertical format. So one of them was the 13 settings on iPhone to change, and then the other one was uh, 11 settings on Android to change, and they actually work really well because basically I cropped it 
where I'm just sitting there because you don't need the sides. And then for the parts where I'm showing the phone screen, well, that works out perfectly because then it just fills up the entire screen. So stuff like that, I might be moving videos where the formatting works if I can reformat it. And I might potentially even start making Instagram specific videos if it makes sense. So if you do want to follow me on Instagram or Instagram TV or whatever, you basically just follow on one, then it follows both ways. Uh, you can go to Instagram.com slash Theojo or just at Theojo, whatever. The link's always in the description. So what about some negatives that I've experienced? The first one is it kind of has a weird interface. I don't like how you open it up. It automatically starts playing a video even if it's muted because 99% of the time when I open it up, it's like the for you suggestions and it's just like a lot of garbage, just junk Buzzfeed crap that I don't care about watching at all. So it's like, I don't want it to autoplay. And of course there is a following tab, which is like the subscriptions feed, but it's not front and center. I think that should be front and center. And most of the time, especially on YouTube, like why would you go on and instantly want something to start playing when usually you have something in mind you want to go to watch? I just don't like the whole autoplay thing. I also really wish there was more discovery options like categories. Right now you only have what's suggested to you, like the For You tab, which does not seem to have any rhyme or reason. It has nothing to do with any of the accounts I'm following. It's all just garbage, like gossip stuff. And then the following tab, of course, is the only thing I care about. So hopefully they do add some sort of way to like filter videos by categories. They, they don't even have the option to add categories really hope they add that. Now, when you're uploading, you can actually choose the thumbnail, which I do like. One thing I don't like is you can't change it afterwards. You can't change the title, the description, the thumbnail, anything after you upload it, so you better have gotten it right the first time, which is kind of strange because you can edit posts after you post it on the regular Instagram feed, at least the description and stuff. Another thing I don't like is the name, like IGTV. It's so cumbersome, four syllables, are you kidding me? Like, I don't see anyone saying, oh yeah, I saw that on IGTV. It's so much more difficult to say that, oh yeah, I saw it on YouTube, you know what I mean? Does not roll off the tongue at all. They should have called it like InstaTV or something like that. At least a little bit more flowy, if that makes sense. So where do we go from here and what do I think it's gonna do? I actually think that Instagram TV does have the potential to be successful. I think it can carve out at least a little niche out of YouTube's market share for like vlog stuff. I don't know about the high quality stuff. I mean, I'll see how the informational videos I post on there work out. I'm not really sure how high hopes I have for it, but at least I'll try. I definitely think they're obviously gonna have to continuously and rapidly improve the app based on feedback. Right now, it's really not that intuitive. I think they should add a lot more interactive features like they kind of have with stories, like stickers and polls and stuff. You can't really do any of that with Instagram TV. They really need to add stuff like that. I'm sure they are working on stuff like that, but right now it just seems so basic. I don't know, I, I'm not really a fan of it right now. I'm gonna kind of be posting on there, investing a little bit into it in the hopes that it'll improve, but I don't know. I hope it's not gonna go the way of like Vine or something like that, where they just kind of drop it because it doesn't work. They really need to add stuff to it, we'll see. But I'd love to hear what you guys think, and again, if you wanna follow me on there, it's just at Theo Joe Instagram, you can see the videos I've posted already. You can let me know what you think down in the comments section. Do you use Instagram TV, IGTV? Do you uh, not even bother? Let me know. If you wanna keep watching some other videos, I'll post a couple right here, you can just click on those, and if you wanna subscribe, I make new videos every couple times a week, so it should be worth it. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys, so thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time, have a good one.